Hello everyone and welcome to my latest tutorial and today's uh, is cricket based and it's featuring Rohit Sharma uh, the Indian cricket's batsman and with England and India tied in the test series at 1-1 I uh, thought I would do a sports edit on Rohit Sharma and cricket uh, it's been a long time coming uh, I've had a lot of requests uh, for cricket and yeah looking at my analytics as well on YouTube I've got a lot of uh, Indian followers and subscribers so I thought I would do a uh, do some for you guys um, out there in India uh, doing a sports edit. Nevertheless, if you are watching this, okay, don't think just because it's a cricket player that it has to be a cricket orientated, okay? You could make this edit uh, as a footballer uh, using a different colour scheme, okay? Uh, good example, you could Manchester United player, okay, you could have a, a red background with black stripes or Manchester City, a nice blue, uh, sea, light blue colour. Uh, with some with some white stripes, some, something along those lines. Um, so yeah, before I digress, we'll get straight into it. So I'm working on a MacBook, so I'm going to press Command N. Okay, anytime I say Command, uh, if you're working on Windows, it's just going to be Control, I believe. And I'm going to work on 1080 pixels by 1080. I'm going for a resolution of 144, RGB color 8 bit, and a white background. And if you noticed, we're making this sports edit. We've just uh, one image as well, so it is possible just to get one image and um, make a make a sports edit out of it. So, first thing I'm going to do is I am going to fill this with a nice pastel colour, and I'm going to go for this colour here that I've uh, selected. So, if you are following along and you want to make this, this is D eight A eight seven six, D eight A eight seven six. I'll click OK. Now I'm going to hold Alt on my keyboard and press backspace and it's going to fill it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my image of the Hitman and let this load up. There we go and I'm going to hold Alt down on my keyboard and it's going to grow in proportion as I move with the transform tool. I'm going to go for something like that and while I've still got this uh, layer selected, okay, I'm going to go to my rectangle tool, I'm going to make sure I have got path selected and I'm going to hold shift down I'm going to make a nice square in proportion something like that okay and what I'm going to do is at the top I'm going to make a selection I'm going to click OK and I'm going to go down here to layer mask and I'm just going to mask it away uh, what I'm also going to do at this stage as well okay now I've masked away I'm just going to convert it to a smart object so it is on one layer Hit V for my move tool, okay, and we can uh, move it around and place it, and it should lock on roughly central. There we go, and I do like it. Let's compare it. Yeah, it was a little bit smaller, so I'm going to press Command T to bring up the Transform tool or Control T. Okay, I'm going to hold Alt. I'm just going to shrink it a little bit. I'm going to hit Enter, and that's okay. Now, what I'm going to do is, because I'm going to have a bit of text up here, I'm just going to drop it down a little bit, so... There's going to be a bit more of a bigger gap at the top than there is the bottom, but that's entirely up to you. If um, you like me, and usually you like things nice and even, okay, you can just leave that in the middle. And what else I'm going to do now is because I was having problems with my version of Photoshop when I cut him when I cut him out using the pen tool, it wasn't letting me save it. So um, just for this, I'm just going to duplicate it. So I'm going to press uh, Command J just to duplicate this. This is if you want to follow me. If not, you don't. You don't have to do this step. You can uh, just stay on the one, one, one layer. So I'm going to hit P for my pen tool, and I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to start here, and I'm going to cut him out, and I'm going to use the pen tool again. You can use whichever preference you like uh, for cutting out. Uh, magnetic lasso tool, um, quick selection tool. Um, I prefer the pen tool. You get a nice, clean, crisp cut. So I'll cut this out and I'll get back to you. Okay, so we've closed our path there. And next, what I would normally do is I would normally make a selection and then I would duplicate it. Let's press Command Zero and zoom out. Uh, however, I was having pro problems, my Photoshop was crashing every time I did that. So all I'm simply going to do here 
is mask. So if I take that layer away there, you can see uh, that I've masked Rohit. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make that into a smart object. And that's how I uh, got around that problem. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the um, shapes, the rectangles. So I'm going to go over here to my rectangle tool. Before, when we use the path to cut out, make sure you change that back to shape. And for a color, I'm going to go for this blue here. So what color is that? That is 1A3D54. 1A3 D54 and click OK. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit and I'm just going to make a nice thin rectangle. Something like that. That will do. OK, go up to your move tool or hit V, Command T to bring your transform tool and in fact just go straight up there to the top and change the angle to 45 degrees and it centralized it straight away for me there. And I'm going to hit enter. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it. So I've got my rectangle tool. I'm going to hold Command J on my Mac or Control J. And I'm just going to move it. Uh, we'll go for something like that. Okay, I'm going to go, go back, back to my bottom layer. Command J, duplicate it again. And then drag it down. And I think it has put it nice and evenly, which it looks like that's the case. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the opacity of these uh, rectangles. So select the bottom uh, rectangle layer, hold shift down on your keyboard and tap the top layer. Okay, and this will highlight all three layers. And I'm just going to drop the opacity down to 90. I think anything below 90 is a bit too much for my liking. Uh, so I'm happy with that. Next, I'm going to get some spray paint. So I'm going to uh, select a new layer. So my layer is above the rectangles, but below the cutout, the Hitman. So if you do that, there you go. You can see it's uh, popped out. And I'm going to press I for my eyedropper tool. I'm just going to sample the background color, so this peach color that we've got. So D8A876, D8A876. And click OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit B for my brush tool. I'm going to double click and this uh, like splatter brush uh, is called Kyle's Spatter Brushes. They were pre-installed in my Photoshop, so hopefully you've got them. If not, I'll put a link down to Brush Easy, a uh, website um, for free brush brushes and uh, find yourself a spray spray paint brush. But uh, these should be pre-installed on your Photoshop. And I'm going to reduce, press command Z, I've just tapped it there by accident. Okay, I'm going to reduce it down to about 50%. And the flow down to about 50%. And I'm just going to spray down something like that. Zoom out a little bit. A bit like, I don't know, Picasso. Just spray and brushing. I'm not using um, a tablet or anything. I'm just using my, my key and my mouse. Something along those lines and across the bottom as well. And maybe a little bit at the corner there, just to add a little bit of effect. And maybe up in this top corner as well. And down like that. And across. Might be a little bit too much, but I think we can live with that. And then just a couple in the background here, just to give it a little bit of... Um, A little bit of depth to the image and that's looking okay Give me something like that and what I'm going to do is I'll call that peach and then I'll create a new layer okay I've got white selected here so you just click this little icon swap them over or you can press X on your keyboard it'll swap them over and same again I'm not going to go as strong with a white but I am just going to do a few white splatters here and there Again, just to break it up. Okay, I'm not going to do uh, too much. I'll call that up. Brought my layer styles, don't want that. And I'm just going to call that white. I like to name my layer so I know what I'm, um, what I'm dealing with. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back down to my Hitman layer here. Okay, I'm going to click the adjustment layers and I'm going to go to levels. I'm going to click this little icon down here to make sure it's clipped. 
So if I go back to my layers palette, you can see this, this has now appeared, so it's only affecting the layer below. Double click that, and I'm going to drag this slider to around 20. And I'm going to give it a bit of a gloss, bring that into 10. Maybe drop it up to 25. So if we click this little icon here, okay, you can see that we're just bringing out the uh, shadows. And with the Hitman layer as well, I'm going to do the same thing. Adjustment layers, I'm going to go to levels. And it didn't want to be as strong on this one, so clip it again. Click that little icon. And I'm just going to go for 10, 11, and I'm not going to do anything there. 96 maybe, we'll keep that as it is, yep, so uh, that's our layers, and with the Hitman as well I'm going to add some curves, and I'm just going to drop him down slightly and just bring it up, so again we're just uh, adding a few more effects, which is good, and let me just double check, and levels, uh, yeah, I'll do it for the um, for the bottom one as well, for the actual Hitman image as well, add some curves. Just darken it, just drop it slightly, raise it up, give it a bit of a glossy feel. And it's clipped already. Yeah, and what I'm going to do is with the curves for the Hitman layer, I'm just going to delete that, just so he stands out a little bit. Fantastic. And what I'm going to do is I, I'm now going to dodge and burn him, so I'm going to create a new layer. So we've got a blank layer, it's already clipped because I've had this layer selected. If it's not, hold Alt on your keyboard, OK, and hover between the layers and clip it. And I'm going to uh, image, sorry, wrong, edit, fill, 50% grey in your contents, normal, opacity 100, click OK. What we're going to do is we're just going to uh, like bring out the shade and then bring him out a little bit. I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay. Gets rid of it. Okay, I'm going to go over here to my dodge and burn tool. Select the burn. Okay, I've got range of the midtones, the exposure set 15%. And what this is going to do is it's just going to make the shadows pop out a little bit more. So round by his foot, his feet, any dark areas, okay. Bottom of his feet, just in there. Okay, you'll you'll see the effect that it makes. Now, on the other one, I really did take my time. Okay, I'm using my bracket keys there just to um, make it a little bit smaller. His forearms as well. Got zero. So if I come out of there. You can see the effect it's having. Okay, you can really build this up. Go to my Doge tool, I've got my highlights selected. My exposure is now at 10%. And I'll start at the bottom. Okay, I am rushing this for the purposes of the tutorial. But uh, you can really take your time. All these uh, little bits here where there's highlights, okay, you can just paint them on. Okay, and it really accentuates it. And again, use my bracket key. Under the top of his forearms, top of his helmet, top of his bat. Command zero, come out of there. Okay. And you can see the effect that we've given him. Um, again, can't stress enough, you can spend a lot more time on the uh, dodge and burn. Okay, so now we've completed our dodge and burn. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some extra shadows. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some um, just below his foot. So select your Rohit layer, hold Command down or Control, and select New Layer. And this will drop a new layer in the layer below. Okay, now I'm going to press D on my keyboard to reset my palette over here. Uh, hit B for your brush tool, and if you go for a nice soft brush, Soft round brush, okay, this is pre-installed, and on this setting here, just drop it down so it's nice and flat, and around 91%. Okay, we've still got a passive around 50%. Okay, I'm just going to tap some sh art artificial shadow in. That's what I'll call it. Yep, 
Yep, okay, and I'll call that shadow. And then what I'm going to do is here, go back to my Hitman layer, hit my uh, new brush, uh, new layer. Okay, right click, I'll go back to this soft brush, drop it down to about 50%, and maybe I'm just going to drop this opacity down to around 30 and use my bracket keys to size it up. Okay, and this with this when this style of sports head indicate just it's just artificial shadow. Uh, it's entirely up to you if you want to add this. I, I do like the look of it. Okay, just underneath his foot there and on his pads and in between his legs on his forearms underneath his bat as well. Just paint it there. Okay, command zero, come out of there. And I'll call that shadow. Now you can even enhance it even more by having a new layer and doing the opposite with white just on the highlights. Entirely up to you. Uh, but for this, I am happy with that. So, uh, yeah, he's looking really good. Let's have a look here. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nailed on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go up to my top layer and I'm just going to hit the shape tool. The fill is going to be a nice dark color, this dark blue. So that color there, let me just hit V for my keyboard. Let's just tap that. In fact, I need a new layer. New layer. Select this uh, color over here. So with this dark color we're going for is 0A2435. 0A2435. Click OK. And select my shape tool. OK, my rectangle tool. Shape selected. Fill. No stroke. As before. And I'm just going to draw something like that. Hit V for my move tool. OK, it's going to centralize it pretty well there. OK, what you can do is as well if you so wish go back down to your bottom layer select that and you should see a ruler here if you don't press command R or control R okay and just drag in and it'll centralize it go back up here to your rectangle tool and it should lock it on or press command T you see your transform tool and there it is so I'm just going to tap it up a little bit so this is why we moved the initial image down a little bit T for my text tool I've got this um, befold Accidents grotesque. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Okay, I'm going to select a nice white color there, and I'm just going to type in Rohit Sharma. I'm just going to drag it down. Okay, the size is already uh, sort of there for me. So if you hit T on your text tool, okay, you can uh, change your size and play around with your character tool and the paragraph tool. If you don't see them, hit Window. Okay, and you should see them like character um, and blah. should be character and paragraph tool. So if you don't see them, go to window and uh, just select them there and there. Uh, I digress though. So yeah, Rohit Sharma, there we go. And then just to finish it off, I'm going to press Command, Shift, Alt and E. So that's Command, Shift, Alt and E. Okay, I'm going to go for um, filter, other, high pass. Okay, radius two pixels, click OK. Okay, this is gonna give it a bit of a HD effect. Click overlay, so it stands out a little bit more. And press Command, Shift, Alt and E again. Visible stamp, gonna filter, noise, add noise, 3%. Gaussian for distribution, monochromatic ticked, click OK, command H to get rid of that line, and there is our Rohit Sharma edit. Nothing more to say, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you did, smash that like button, if you want to see more cricket edits, uh, if you're watching from India, smash that like button, let me know in the comments below, and uh, yeah, may the best team win in the third test out in India between England and India. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you in a tutorial very soon.